Today we want to learn how to turn our photos into attractive pencil sketches with Photoshop. Follow me to do this step by step. First, we make a copy of the background layer with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Go to the adjustment layer and select hue saturation. We reduce the saturation until the image is completely black and white. Go to layer 1. From the image tab, select adjustments and then invert. As you can see, the image is inverted. In the blending mode section, we set the mode to color dodge. We enter the filter tab and select blur and then Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur window, we adjust the radius to add a pencil sketch effect to our image. The more this value is, the more blurred our image becomes and the closer it gets to the pencil sketch. So adjust this amount according to your taste. Then click OK. Now we want to adjust the contrast and brightness of our image. Go to the adjustment layer and select level. In the level window, we drag the middle slider to the right to make the bright parts of the image brighter and the dark parts darker. We go to the adjustment layer again and select brightness and contrast. In the window that opens, we reduce the brightness slightly and increase the contrast slightly to make our design stand out. Now we need to add some texture to our design. For this purpose, with the keyboard shortcut Shift plus Ctrl plus Alt plus E, we merge all the created layers into one layer. Right-click on the new layer and select it Convert to Smart Object. This will ensure that the changes we make to this layer later will not lose the original image quality. Now we want to add some noise to our image. We go to the Filter tab and select Noise, then Add Noise. In the Add Noise window, we adjust the amount. The higher this value, the more noise the image will have. Then we click OK. Now we want to make the details of our image more prominent so that our pencil sketch looks more natural. To do this, we again go to the Filter tab and select Sharpen, then Smart Sharpen. We make the adjustments and then click OK. Now we need to retouch the hair to make the hair look like a pencil sketch. For this purpose, with the keyboard shortcut Shift plus Ctrl plus Alt plus E, we merge all the created layers into one layer. And from the Filter tab, we select the Filter Gallery. In the Artistic folder, we select the Poster Edges filter. This filter helps us to highlight the edges of objects and give them a pencil sketch effect. And we make it settings to give a good effect to our design. Then click OK. As you can see, the filter has affected all parts of the image. But we want this filter to be applied only to the hair. For this purpose, we create a mask on the same layer where the filter is applied. We pick up the brush to and adjust its settings. Opacity and flow should be at 100%. We set the foreground color to black. Now, with the brush, we erase the areas where we don't want the filter to be applied.
Now we want the filter to be applied to the eyes. We set the foreground color to white and brush over the eye area. In the blending mode section, we set the mode to color burn. And we set its opacity between 60 and 70. We create a group with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G. We select the top to bottom layers by holding shift and drag them into the created group. Now let's see the result. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, write in the comments. Thanks for watching.